Rambam Mishnah Torah, one chapter a day, Kilaim, chapter one. Halacha one. A person who sows two species of seeds together in Eretz Israel is liable for lashes. As Vaikra 1919 states, you shall not sow your field with mixed species. Halacha 2. This prohibition, referring, referred to as kilaim, applies whether one sows weeds or covers seeds with earth. For example, there was a kernel of wheat and a kernel of barley or a fava bean and a lentil lying on the earth and one covered them with earth. Whether with his hand, his foot or with a utensil, he is liable for lashes. This applies whether he sows them in the earth or in a pot with a hole. When, by contrast, one sows them in a pot without a hole, he is liable only for stripes for rebellious, contact, for rebellious conduct. Halakha 3. It is forbidden to sow kilaim for a Gentile. It is, by contrast, permitted to tell a Gentile to sow mixed species of seeds for his own sake. It is forbidden for a person to maintain mixed species of seeds in his field. Instead, he must uproot them. If he maintains them, he is not liable for lashes. It is permitted for a Jew to sow mixed species of seeds by hand in the diaspora outside of Israel. It is even permitted to mix seeds at the outset and then sow them. These concepts have been communicated by the oral tradition. Halakha 4. The prohibition against mixed species of seeds involves only plants that are fit for human consumption. Grasses that are bitter and similar roots that are fit only for medicinal purposes and the like are not included in the prohibition against mixtures of seeds. Halakha 5. Grafting a mixture of trees is included in the prohibition. You shall not sow your field with mixed species. What is implied? When a person grafts a tree of one species onto a, uh, on, onto a tree of another species, for example, he grafted a branch of an apple tree to an, est, for, to an etrog tree or one from an etrog tree to an apple tree, he is liable for lashes according to scriptural law in any place, whether in Eretz Israel or in the diaspora. Similarly, if a person gra grafts a vegetable to a tree or a tree to a vegetable, he is liable for lashes in every place. Halakha 6. It is forbidden for a Jew to allow a Gentile to graft different species of trees together for the Jew. It is permitted to sow the seeds of produce and the seeds of a tree together. Similarly, it is permitted to mix seeds from different species of trees and sow them together. The rationale is that the only prohibition against mixed species that applies to trees is the prohibition against grafting different species together. Halakha 7. He is liable for lashes, although he is liable for lashes, when a person sows forbidden species together or grafts forbidden species of trees together, the produce that grows is permitted to be eaten even by the person who transgressed and sowed it, for it is only sowing that is forbidden. It is permitted to, bl to plant a branch from the grafted tree or plant the seeds from a vegetable that was planted together with a mixed species. Halakha 8. Edible plants are divided into three categories. A. The first is called grain. It includes wheat, wild wheat, barley, oats and spelt. B. The second is called kitniot. It includes all the types of seeds eaten by men other than grain, for example, beans, peas, lentils, millet, and rice, sesame seeds, poppy seed, white peas, and the like. The third is called garden seeds, i.e. seeds which are not fit for human consumption, but whose fruit is fit for human consumption, for example, onion seeds, garlic seeds, leek seeds, ketzach seeds, cabbage seeds, and the like. Flax seed is considered in this category. When these seeds are sown and grow, before the seeds are recognisable, the entire plant is called herbage and it is called vegetables. Halakha 9. There are some garden plants that are sown in large fields, for example flax and mustard seed, and they are called types of seeds. And there are other garden plants which people customarily sow in only in small rows, for example turnips, radishes, spinach, onions, coriander, parsley, horseradish, horseradish and the like, these are called vegetables.